Hey you guys, it's me Sherelle here with Lovely Hustles and today I have a really good video, so check it out. <laughs> All right, so today's video is about the top summer 2024 side hustles. I got you, stay tuned. Okay, so for the summer, I know there are a lot of people who are having a lazy girl summer. <laughs> I know a lot of people who are maybe off for the summer, you're teaching, maybe your job is not teaching, but you just have off seasons and you like to just make some extra money, I have some great side hustles for you to start up that are easy to start up, low cost to start up, and very easy to manage as well. So let's get into our first side hustle for the summer of 2024. Okay, so of course, you're gonna see me looking this way. I have my laptop right here because I have all my notes of everything I wanna kinda go over in each side hustle. So first, we're gonna start with the notary signing agent. If you don't know, before I was Lovely Hustles, I was Lovely Notary. So of course, that is what I did. That was my main sole source of income at that time. I have slowed down that business a lot. I do still do notary work, don't get it twisted. I am still a commissioned notary. I still notarize right here in my neighborhood and even outside of it, just depending on, you know, the pay and the, all of that. But I'm still a notary. So let's jump into the startup costs and things you need to get started. I won't go too deep into notary work because I have so many, a plethora, a plethora of videos for you to watch. And it has anything and everything to do with notary from beginning to end. Um, different niches, all that good stuff. So make sure you check out my channel and like click a video, someone that's gonna pop up here for you to kind of get started into the notary business. But let's jump into some of the basics of how to start your very own notary business. Okay, so just really quick, to get a quick overview of how to start a notary business, it's very, very easy. The commission is easy, it's different in every state. So make sure you look at your state credentials and all of that good stuff and what it requires for you to get your notary commission. Just letting you know, you do have to take a test. That test doesn't cost much. I can't remember, I took it so many years ago. Aside from that, I would say your startup costs on the low end, probably about $500. I'm just being realistic because you gotta consider things like, you gotta pay for your commission. If you're serious about running a legitimate business, you have to have an LLC. And also you need your supplies for your for your business. You need a really big printer, dual tray printer, um, laser dual tray printer. You also need paper. You need um, a lot of different types of folders and things to kind of organize your paperwork with. You need the tabs to kind of tap through all the paperwork that you're gonna be signing. Blue pens, black pens. You need an ink pad to re-ink your stamp. You need a stamp. I would, you know, let me be a little more, more realistic. Let's say about five to $700 to solidly start this business and have it rolling because you got to think about your website. You got to think about your marketing, the time, the gas, you know, all that stuff, it costs, it adds up little by little, it adds up. So I would say anywhere from five to $700 should be a good amount of money to start a legitimate notary business. And that's including your LLC and all that. I'm not just saying get your commission and start. You can but if you're looking for something that's something you can kind of easily run, an actual business, you want to claim it on your taxes, then definitely go the LLC route and make sure that you have a business plan. Maybe think about the niches you want to work in. There's so many different niches. I have a niche video. Uh, it'll pop up anywhere here somewhere soon. But I have a notary niche video of different types of niches you can work in in the notary business, you guys. It doesn't have to just be loan signings. It doesn't have to just be affidavits. I mean, there's so many different vent avenues you can work in in notary in this notary business so let's get into our next side hustle for the summer of 2024. all right you guys so the next side hustle is one that i am actively doing right now um as well <laughs> so i have more than one side hustle obviously um and i'm really enjoying it i've run into some challenges i've definitely had some great days as well so i love this business and it's an airbnb host or co-host so let's get started talking about that so I'm gonna give you a really quick um, just kind of background. So before I became a host, before I started having my own rental units, I was a co-host. And what I did to become a co-host is I started reaching out to people on the actual app, on that website, Airbnb, and just saying, hey, I would love to help you part-time to co-host your tenants in this area or, you know, and you can find people that are local to where you are. That way it's some more familiarity with it, you know? So definitely look into co-hosting, start asking and finding places that are people that would actually wouldn't mind you kind of helping them run their business on the back end. And then you can graduate to being a host because when you co-host, you get the same access as a host. 
So you're giving yourself all this good experience to be able to eventually run your own business. And that's exactly what I did, you guys. That is exactly what I did. I started co-hosting and then I started learning everything, rules, do's and don'ts, all that good stuff, communicating what's important, percentages, numbers, expenses, all that. On that app, I learned that. And it definitely prepared me to run my two units that I run by myself on the Airbnb app. So co-hosting is great. And then you graduate to hosting. So I started hosting because I had my very own unit. Finally, thank you, God. But I have two now. So hosting helped me, co-hosting helped me out a lot to really solidify being a host, kind of deciding, okay, this is what I do like, this is what I don't like. This is how I'll respond. I'll set up automated messages for this and that. So there's a lot that you can do as a host slash co-host with the Airbnb space. So for those of you who are wondering like why she's talking about hosting and co-hosting and didn't explain what it is, let me explain it to you. My bad y'all. So when you host or co-host on the Airbnb app or the platform, I should say, um, you are the person who's pretty much running the back office for their rental unit. So if someone's checking in and they're like, hey, this code isn't working, or if they're like, hey, how do you get into the gate? I can't access the gate. Or if they're like, hey, what are the pool hours? Those kind of things are things that co-hosts and hosts do. We're just pretty much answering questions and putting out small fires, hopefully not too many, for our tenants, right? I had a tenant who didn't know what time the pool hours were open. So I called my office. I said, hey, I have my tenant there. What time the pool hours open and close? They let me know. I messaged them back. Boom, boom, boom. That's co-hosting. That's all it is. If they have a question, you answer it. One thing you will learn from co-hosting is to set up automated messaging. So that helps out a lot too with co-hosting. But I won't go too deep into this because I definitely want to just kind of give you a light overview of this business and how to start it. But I would say to start this business on the low end, it would be about $5,000, I would say. That's a good solid number. Um, if you're looking for something to spend, you want a little bit more spending room, you want to be able to do maybe a little bit more decoration in your units, I would say me, maybe lean towards five to $7,000 to start up. And that's um, your LLC. That is your business plan, your first month's rent, possibly your last month's rent deposit, all that stuff you need to even just move in. But also you have to furnish it. So now you're having to get your inventory and your supplies. You're also going to need not just furnishings and decor, but you're going to need your toiletries. You're going to need toilet tissue. You're going to need paper towels, things like that, that people need to be able to live in your unit. So there are a laundry list of items. I have an Airbnb video that'll pop up somewhere here soon to get you started. So if you are interested, definitely check out my videos. I have a whole lot of videos. I have a whole menu of videos just about my Airbnb journey and the side hustles that I have. So make sure you check that out. All right, so last but not least, this is a business I started years ago that I've done a couple videos about and it is very lucrative. You can jump in it today, literally today and start working. But that is the cleaning business. I have a very, very, very good video out there about the cleaning business, how to start. Here's where you'll find wherever it is somewhere. I don't know where it's gonna pop up at. It'll pop up on your screen, how to start this business. I enjoyed the cleaning business. I had a not so great experience at first, but and it'll be in that video if you go watch the video that I talk about my cleaning business in. <laughs> but um, the cleaning business is very lucrative, super easy to get in, super low cost. You don't need anything. None of these jobs you need anything. As an Airbnb co-host, as a notary loan signing agent, and, and as a cleaning business owner, you don't need education. I mean, a basic high school education would be nice, but you're not required to go to college. You don't need college hours, credits, anything like that. All of these jobs are very good for that, I will say. But the cleaning business, you can go spend probably, I would say you could start this business today for $150 and be on your feet working because that's just how easy this business is to start. Cleaning business is easy and you're never gonna run out of customers. You're never gonna run out of client. But if you put in that work and you have the right marketing tools, you are gonna be successful, guys. Go buy a magnet and stick it on your car and brand your business. Go put on a shirt that has your cleaning business name on the front and the back. You know what I'm saying? Those are ways to market. So it's definitely easy to get, this hair is getting in my earlobe. <laughs> It's very easy to get into this business and you don't need a lot of money. You guys, cleaning supplies, I spent $150 at Walmart my very first time. $150. And I'm just buying stuff that I feel like I needed that I, you know, I made a list obviously. But in order to start this business, you need supplies, 
marketing tools and that's it. I mean, in word of mouth. A lot of times, like earlier uh, last week, I saw a car sitting in like a cul-de-sac and they had a cleaning sticker on the side of the car. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna eventually need a cleaning crew when I'm not able to clean my Airbnbs from time to time. It's good to have somebody on hand. And so I got their card from them. They were cleaning somebody else's house and it was just that they didn't have to do anything. I showed up to them. I'm knocking on their window like, hey, so the cleaning business is easy to start. You don't need anything to start, but a little bit of money and some supplies and you can go ahead and get it done. You can write up contracts. You can pull up a contract on Pinterest. You can pull up a contract on ChatGPT and have them write you up something real quick. You can charge as much as $100 an hour if you want. Like you can even charge more if you want. If you're a good quality cleaner and you're in there with a toothbrush, and you're scrubbing baseboards going crazy, like, yeah, you can charge that much an hour because it's the quality that people want. And it's not just about cleaning a house, you guys. You can clean businesses. You can clean whatever you want. So it's it's available and it's out there. You just have to go find it. You have to put in that work. But the cleaning business, to start, I would say on the low end, $150 maybe. I mean, think about the supplies you need, right? You're needing cleaning supplies and cleaning tools. So. A lot of times if you get the good quality stuff, you don't have to buy as much of it. So stay out of the Dollar Tree. No, don't stay out of there, but don't get all the cleaning supplies from there. I will say that. You can get some from there because I do, but I don't get all my cleaning supplies from Dollar Tree because not all of their cleaning sprays are great. A lot of them are very much so watered down. Just saying, just a little tip right there. All right, you guys. So with that all being said, start your business today. Get started, get up. <laughs> Transfer that money from that savings to that checking and get it started. You can do this. These three jobs I've done physically myself. I've experienced it. I've gone through it. So I'm definitely rooting for you guys. I hope you guys get started. If, whether it's a notary loan signing agent, whether you're going to do your cleaning business or Airbnb business or something else, make sure that you are organized and make sure that you have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you're going to wake up some days and wonder what you're going to do. And it's because you don't have anything set in motion as a plan. So make sure that you put together a plan. Make sure that you know who your audience is, your target audience is, and make sure to market. Look up different ways and creative ways to market. You don't have to always have a flyer in your hand. Now, those are helpful, but there are different creative ways to market. Now, you have free marketing, which is on social media platforms. You have Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram all these platforms that are free for you to market on. You also have a website that you can pay for for maybe what, five or 10 bucks a month, maybe at the most. So there are a lot of different ways to market. Definitely get these businesses started, you guys. It's the summertime. Let's just make some extra money. If you wanna take an extra vacation, yeah, say you can. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, why am I clapping? Thank you guys so much for watching. I am like, on 10 with my hands. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Make sure you subscribe. I have so many more side hustles coming. I have a lot more content coming. A lot has been changing with me, you guys. I've got a lot of stuff going on and trying to just rearrange my puzzle pieces now. So make sure to stay tuned. I've got you guys. Have an amazing and blessed day.